Hey, Tyler here. Don't forget to subscribe. Check out tarveracademy.com. What up? Welcome back. Guess what? I missed you guys so much. I can't even tell you about it because it was too much. Today we're going to learn about this slope formula. What's slope? It's not me. I'll tell you what it is. The slope is how steep something is. That's the breakdown of it. How steep it is, a line. Like that. Slope tells us the rate of change. It's the amount of change it has going up or going down. Okay? Slope. I keep saying slope to help you remember. It's essentially the rise over the run. Okay? It's how much you go up and how much you go over. Okay? You don't have to go up. You can go down. Up or down. Rise or down. Still consider the rise. Okay? So you're up and down, side to side. Rise over run. It's a ratio. Remember ratios, right? We'll never forget. Okay? Love your ratio. Okay. So, for instance, let's take this little guy. Let's make this a line. It's not a very good line. Not a very good line. Not going to win the Olympics, but it's a line itself. So, we got a point at 2, 3, negative 4, 1. Now, as a reminder, x comes first, y comes second. It's alphabetical. That's how you got to remember it. It's alphabetical. It's a secret. Don't tell your mom. Okay? I'm just kidding. You can tell her. No secrets. Tell your mom everything. Okay? So, we got 2, 3, negative 4, 1. Both of those points are on this line. Now, let's say I want to find the slope of that line. Okay? Now, what you can do is, if it's on graph paper, you can count. Now, your rise first. That's your y. You're up and down. So we can count. Okay, it's easier when you have graph paper, but we'll manage. So we'll go up one, two, three, four. And I'm on the same, same little guy as that. So I went up four. That's a positive four. Nope, that's not right. I don't know why I put that there. That's silly. Rise over run. That was our rise, we rose four, and then our run. From there, we go over till we hit the point we want. We're gonna go one, two, three, four, five, six. It doesn't look very pretty because I don't have graph paper, but let's blame whatever Democratic or Republican party you don't like, we'll blame them. So we went positive six. We went over the negative four to get to the line, and then we went over two more to get to that. So, one, two, three, four, five, six. So we went positive six, correct? Like if you're running, run forward. That's positive. So it's four over six. Now, that would be our answer if we wanted to stop there. But what do we always know? Whenever we got a fraction and that little guy can be reduced, we got to reduce it. So you got four over six. Let's reduce it to what goes into both of those? Two does. Two does. So two goes into four twice. 2 goes into 6 three times. Can we reduce that anymore? No, sir. Not in my house. Not in my house. No, you can't. That's Under Armour, right? I'm sorry if that's copyrighted. My bad. Okay, so 2 over 3 is the slope of that line. Okay? We rose 2, ran 3. Watch this. If you went up 2 from here, 1, 2, and you went over 3, 1, 2, 3, you would still land on that line. It's cool, right? Cool, cool, cool. Now, that's the slope, but that's not the slope formula. You know what I'm saying? That's not the slope formula. You know what I'm saying? Now, we can use the same little guy. Okay, we'll use the same one. Slope formula is y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. Okay? Slope formula. Now, what I recommend, usually, you know, if you have a graph, usually you can count. That's fine. Now let's say they give you, you know, we won't use this one. We'll use a whole new one because I care about you guys. And I want y'all to hopefully maybe get the exact same problem on yours so you can just, you know, not worry about it. You know what I mean? All right, so let's say that they'll just tell you. They'll say point R is at negative 4, 4, and J is at 8, 12. Okay? Parentheses. Okay, so we got two points. Now we know those two points on our line, so we want to find the slope of that line. Okay, as long as you have any two points of a line, you can find the slope of it. Okay? Now, what I recommend, 
personally, as somebody who's taught math for a while, I would recommend labeling these because there's four numbers. They're all in parentheses. There's letters. Oh my goodness, that's crazy, and it's and it can get mixed up. It's easy to get mixed up when you're plugging stuff back in. Label them. This is an X. This is a Y. This is an X, and this is a Y. Correct? Remember what I told you about alphabetical? Sure you do. X Y X Y. Now, these have twos and ones. Okay. All that means is that's ones are from our first coordinate. Twos are from our second coordinate, okay? This can be our first or second. What do you want to do? I don't care. Let's make this one our first. So x1, y1, x2, y2, okay? If that's hard to see, I don't know, make it full screen. I don't know. I don't know what to tell you, okay? So first coordinate, second coordinate, x's, and our y's, okay? If you label that, Literally, all you're doing is taking this out and putting it in. It's like whenever somebody's doing crummy in basketball, you take a player out, you put someone in, okay? Just replacing it. Let's we'll start with Y2. What's our Y2? If I've already labeled it, it is 12. So I'll put 12 there. Now, minus sign. Do not forget that. Okay? Now what's our Y1? Four. Put that. Now, some people might want to go ahead and solve this top part so you don't get confused and then solve the bottom part. I don't care. Do whatever you want. It's your life. Uh, T.I. What's up, T.I.? I haven't seen you in a while. Stop. Back on topic. Okay? Now, if you notice, I circled these. That way, I don't reuse them. Okay? It's all about not making mistakes whenever it comes to stuff like this, or the distance formula, or the midpoint formula. You want to plug stuff in, and you don't want to make a mistake and throw the wrong number in. It's really easy to do if you can accidentally reuse it. I circle them when I know I've put them in. Okay? X2, we take X, X2 out, I've already labeled X2, let's put 8 in there. Don't forget your minus sign. It's not a suggestion, it's telling you put the minus sign in there. And then we've got our X1, which is negative 4, okay? Now, this is where you do top and bottom, because it's really easy to get confused, okay? 12 minus 4 is what? 8. That's easy. 8 minus negative 4. What happens when you minus a negative? Two wrongs make a right. It's only in math, okay? Don't do that in real life. So you got a minus, a negative, turns into a positive. So that becomes a positive. 8 plus 4 is what? 12. We're done. We found the slope, okay? But what else do we know? Reduce that mug, all right? We know 2 goes into both of those because they're even, correct? Now, what else do we know goes into those? They're small enough numbers to where we can use this. That's right, I heard you say it in your mind. I heard you say it in your mind. You said 4. How many times is 4 going to 8? 2 times. How many times is 4 going to 12? 3 times. Our slope is 2 over 3. So we'd rise 2, run 3. Rise 2, run 3. And if you kept plotting those, you would plot your line. Cool. 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 Okay? That's it. That's the slope formula. Hope you learned something. I hope you learned everything. Um, check out tarveracademy.com if you want to get more lessons for free. For free. Also got an app. iPad, iPhone. That's what's up. I'm out. I love you. Stay sweet. Oh, also, if you have any more questions, you can tweet me, at Tyler Tarver. At Tyler Tarver. Tweet me a question. Take a pic of your problem. Tweet it to me. That's what's up. I'll try to help you if I can. If I can. Bye. Hey, thanks for showing up. Give me a subscribe and check out tarveracademy.com. Pizza?